Welcome back! If you already watched the previous videos, we learned more about the great benefits of MPEG-H audio for you during production and for the viewers at home. So now the goal is that we define MPEG-H metadata based on 13 audio tracks, consisting of a 5.1 plus 4 ambience bed, three commentators in which only one of them can be played back at a time, these components will be combined into three presets and we allow for advanced user interactivity on the free commentator objects. So now let us finally get started and produce MPEG-H metadata. And for this, I will jump back to the Pro Tools session. The first step of MPEG-H authoring is Definition of components. We already learned what a component actually is. Remember back, it's either a channel, object or a switch group. And all of them can be added using these three buttons here. So first of all, we start with our ambience bed component. Let's add a channel because the bed will not change the position. It's a fixed 5.1 plus 4 channel based layout. And now we saw that there are additional settings appearing here. First, let us define a label. Let's label it 5.1 plus 4 bad. Important to mention is that this label may appear in the end consumer on screen display. So be careful what you type in here. Now we define the channel count. The channel count is 5.1 plus 4. Please note as well, the channel count cannot be larger than the already defined reference layout. So now have a look at this information down here. You can see that the authoring plugin is expecting the first 10 input channels of the third order Ambisonics bus. Make sure that there is no mismapping. There is no content language included in the 5.1 plus 4 bed. And now let's define the content kind. This is an important information for the receiving device to adopt according to this information. All other parameters can be ignored for now, as they are not important for the ambience bed, for example, the interactivity settings down here. The bed is already mixed and we don't want that the user at home can customize the ambience background. So there will be no interactivity and also no panning. These features are explained in more detail in a minute. Going back to the column on the left, now we want to add our three commentator objects into our session. For this, we add three objects. Check that the input routing of Pro Tools matches the input routing of the plugin. So we have channel 11, 12, and 13, and that matches channel 10, 11, 12. Since we started from zero, this perfectly matches our input to mHappy. And now we label each component to not get confused. So for this, I'm moving the window up here. And now we can see that English, French and German is the right order. So we start with English, French, And German. Now we want to ensure that only one commentator object can be played back at a time. Means we have to combine them into a switch group. And this is what we're doing now. So we go up here and, and press the plus SWG plus switch group. Label the switch group, just call it language. And now we add the free commentator objects into our switch group. And it goes like that, that we're going back to the individual object and add them in this section here. And now you can see that the order of the objects change and they are now part of the switch group language. Now we can define interactivity ranges for the users at home, which are applied to all members of the switch group in the same way. The tool allows the authoring only if all members of the switch group have the same interactivity settings. 
And in this section down here, if we go back to the switch group, in this section down here, we can define minimum and maximum values for level and position. The user is able to customize the audio objects only within these ranges. So let's define a range of plus minus, let's say 8 dB on level, plus minus 80 degrees in azimuth, and an elevation of plus 40 degrees. On the user interface, it looks like that. It is the largest urban open space in the world and Berlin's largest city park. Opened in 1906, the residential and commercial buildings of the Hackershare Yards are now almost the most famous and most expensive real estate in Berlin. Due to the artistic and gastronomic offer, the Hackershare Yards... Are so much about MPEG-H components. In the next video, we will add these components into our MPEG-H presets. So see you there.